you ever signed into your Microsoft Teams rooms on Android system and you need to sign that out now and sign it in as your resource account ready to deploy? Well, there is two ways to do this. So let's just jump over to my Microsoft Teams room. Here we have my central room console and I have my front of room display. You could simply come into the device, go into settings, into device settings, into system, and because I'm already logged in, I have an option to reset the device. This will reset both the pad and the bar back to that out-of-box experience, so you just need to select date, time, network, and your platform of choice, i.e. Microsoft Teams, and it will then come back to the login screen. That is probably a quick way to do it, uh, where you just reset the device, it will go back to the out-of-box state. However, if you don't want to do that reset, you can have the option here to sign out at the bottom. So when you do sign out, what this is actually doing is just signing out the neat pad. You still have to sign out the neat bar. So as you can see now, it's lost connectivity and I have the icons on the screen now. So if I had a touch screen, I could interact with that. However, I will now need a mouse or keyboard to help me sign that out. So on the back of the Neat bar, there is a USB-C connection, so you need to grab a mouse or a mouse with an adapter for USB-C or a keyboard and that will then allow you to help navigate through this device and you do exactly the same. You go to more, into settings and you select sign out. Are you sure you want to sign out? Yes. And now you've done that, you've signed out of the device, it's ready to sign back in with your resource account. So let's do that. Let's sign us in as a resource account. So you simply put in the credentials, put in the password. Now this may improve over time um, where they automatically sign out. So in actually resource mode, which I'm going to show you next, it actually does sign them out both. Um, there is a way to do that and I'll show you that. Let's sign this uh, pad in. So they're both signed in independently and obviously we need to pair. Again, that's something that may improve over time where they will automatically pair as well because they see the same account. You can see the front of room display is already signed in. Already I've got my icons there. So when the pad signs in, we'll be able to it'll pop up, discover that the neat bar is signed in with the same account and it will pop up the pairing request. So there we have, it's now signed in, it's found the device, we simply tap the controller and we put in the six digit code we see on the screen. And again, this is a one time requirement. So there we have, the device is now all signed in, ready to do that. Now, let me show you how to sign it out. So we have the option to go into settings, uh, device settings, as you can see there, I had no options because it's a room account. I don't get the options to change the wallpaper, etc. So under admin settings, again, I log in. And I have an option here, Teams admin settings. And within Teams admin settings, I do have Teams sign out at the bottom. Now, don't do this. This will just sign out the pad again. The way to sign out a bar and pad together is with this option here at the bottom here, Team Sign Out. So let's click that and watch magic happen. It signs both out. So that is the best way to sign out a resource account. Then it's ready to sign in again for your next uh, device or deployment. So there we have how to set up, uh, sign in, sign out of your devices when you have a front of room device and a controller in the same account. Very easy to do. Follow the steps and you get it right. Any questions, let me know.